High School has been a major setback in the school's quest to allow students to take up elective courses in that area. Starting next uh, academic year, however, the school with visual arts students in particular will be able to sign up for ICT as an elective subject. This was made uh, possible by the intervention of the Israeli Embassy under its Education for Digitization Innovation Initiative. Uh, there's more on that in this report. Since its establishment 31 years ago, the Amasamai Senior High School has not been able to effectively undertake teaching and learning in information communication technology. Students reading programs such as visual arts lacked the opportunity to rub shoulders with their mates in other schools because they do not have adequately equipped ICT labs. Headmistress of the school, Irene Okansi, said the situation will change in the next academic year due to the Israeli embassy's intervention. As a beneficiary of the Israeli embassy's Education for Digitization Innovation Initiative, the school will from next year begin elective courses in ICT. That the initiative, which is in collaboration with the embassy and the Ghana Education Service, all senior high schools across the country will have fully furnished ICT labs with active internet services. We have long looked forward to it's the beginning of a dream come true. This is because as management of the school, we have been contemplating on the introduction of ICT as a fourth elective subject, especially for the technical and our visual arts students. Her Excellency Shulomit Sufa is Israeli ambassador to Ghana. It is also very important for us to work in line with the policy of the Ministry of Education and to have these classes spread all over the country, not just in Accra, but as you see today in Tamale, in Walewale, Wale, and hopefully future in other regions and sectors of Ghana. Deputy Education Minister Intim Fojo commended the Israeli embassy for the gesture. He's optimistic the initiative will contribute greatly to Ghana's STEM education policy. We thank the Israeli embassy for the support, even in augmenting on what is government's priority. This must encourage other stakeholders also to join in in this worthy investment to ensure that a child born in Ghana has access to quality education and has the relevant skills required for today. These students can be accommodated in the newly equipped ICT lab at a time. School authorities are convinced.